when Jane died in Mallet in 84, um, the Actors Fund had been started. It was started while we were in England by people, six of them putting a buck in. Yep. And they had raised at that time, they had got it up to about 80,000 bucks. Well, when I'm asked to take over, and that's just when AIDS are coming in. So in the 80s, you took over Actors Fund. Uh, right? The Actors Fund, yeah. So I uh, said, we've got to get it up to a million bucks. So um, <laughs> I said, each theater, um, sometime in one of their plays, have to have a, uh, uh, we called it an after theater romp. And the audience would come backstage to some place and, and they would set up a review, um, you know, We'd help them with material or whatever if they needed it, and to do uh, something. And that money would go into the Actors Fund. So that did work. We got money. And um, then uh, in February, we always had one night where we could go out to the audience. I was past master. I knew how I could get the most money, which was not to ask for a lot, just empty your change purses because we don't. And I had the spiel and all that, you know. And people, different people did different things. Then, and that got us a bit more, but then Frank Rufo came in and said, you know, we've got to do more than that. And they have a team that goes into the theaters for the week. Mm -hmm. You've been probably. Yep. Yep. And you have somebody there to make the spiel. And again, you see, the audience have no idea. They think we get government money. They think, you know, come on. You have to tell them, no. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've got kids, we're sick, da 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 da. So we got it up, Not we didn't get it to our million, but we got it up, I was there, I think, six or eight, eight years, I guess. Six years, eight years, I can't remember. But we got it up close to that. And was, um, the, was that drive not only for social conscience reasons, but also because AIDS was roaring its way through? Well, the because the Actors Fund had been started in the '60s to help, not necessarily AIDS, because it wasn't yeah. there wasn't AIDS then, but to help actors. I mean, I mean, you have a kid that needs a heart trans not a heart transplant, but you know needs an operation. You can't afford it. You know, with all the extra things you need on it, you can't pay the rent. You, something happens. Your wife gets sick. You know, something. I've hurt my foot. I got to play. Got to pull out of it. You know, whatever. I mean, actors get into all kinds of troubles like everybody else. So we were doing all that, and I was at one point. I was in England. I went over just to visit, and I said to Equity, "You know, what the heck are you doing about AIDS?" Oh, we don't have AIDS. I said, really? And I thought, well, I guess they know how to manage all that, you know, whatever. <laughs> but what they were saying is they died of heart failure, or they died of pneumonia, or they died of whatever. Because, of course, they had the... But I didn't know that. I said, you know, it's interesting. England doesn't have AIDS. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Which was just Tommy Rod, but, you know. But, you know, right off the bat, we had a, a dancer that had AIDS and was married with two kids, you know. But you know you're going to need a lot of money. Yep. And it's on its own now, you know. Well, so good for you for yeah. all that work. Yeah. And well, pal? Mm -hmm. And pal? Well, then the next thing was Jane dies. And, um, oh, it was, she was ill and whatever. And um, Jane Mallet. Jane Mallet. And Jane Mallet was big in your life, is that right? Well, I mean, she was something that everybody knew. Everybody right. knew Jane. And Jane, um, Sorry, Jane had made a career out of playing in all those American shows that were coming up? or she Yes, had, she did. She started there, but she did her Town Tonics was the Hard House thing during the 30s that she did here. Town review, Tonics. Tonics that she did at Hard House. And she was in every one of Andrew Allen's plays. She was on, she was the, the um, Bell phone lady. She was the cheese lady, you know, on all those ads. I mean, everybody knew Jane. What was Town Tonics? She did a, 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 a series of reviews of one or two people with the Adaskins, music and little comedy sketches during the 30s. 